Welcome back to my channel. Before we begin, don't forget to like, subscribe, and activate the notification bell. Today's video, we're going to talk about something that, believe it or not, is everywhere and all the time, organic chemistry in our daily lives. Organic chemistry is the branch of chemistry that studies compounds containing carbon. From the moment you wake up until you go to bed, you are in constant contact with organic chemistry. Let's start with something basic, food. All the food we consume is made up of organic molecules. For example, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats are all organic compounds. The coffee you drink in the morning, the fruits you eat in the afternoon, or the bread for breakfast. All of them are products of organic chemical processes. Even the vibrant color of carrots is due to organic compounds called carotenoids. These compounds not only give carrots their characteristic orange color, but are also essential for our eye health. When you brush your teeth or take a shower, you are also using organic chemistry. Soaps and shampoos are made from organic compounds like sodium lauryl sulfate, which is responsible for the foam that removes grease and dirt. Toothpaste contains fluoride, yes, but also compounds like sorbitol and glycerin, which are essential for its texture and effectiveness. The fuels we use to get around, like gasoline and diesel, are also perfect examples of organic chemistry in action. These fuels are hydrocarbons, compounds made up of carbon and hydrogen atoms. When we burn gasoline in a car engine, a chemical reaction occurs that releases energy, allowing us to move from place to place. The clothes we wear are also infused with organic chemistry. Natural fibers like cotton and wool are organic compounds. Even synthetic fibers like polyester and nylon are made from organic polymers. Even the accessories and jewelry we wear are based on organic chemistry. A diamond, for example, is a crystalline form of carbon. Its atomic structure makes it one of the hardest and most brilliant materials. Other materials, like the plastic used in many inexpensive jewelry items, are also organic polymers derived from petroleum. The cleaning products we use to keep our homes clean are full of organic compounds. Detergents contain surfactants that help remove dirt and stains from clothes. Disinfectants, like those we use to clean surfaces, contain alcohols and other organic compounds that kill bacteria and viruses. Perfumes and the pleasant smells around us are also the work of organic chemistry. The compounds responsible for the aroma in perfumes are organic molecules like esters and alcohols. Each fragrance we smell is a unique combination of these compounds. Plastic is everywhere, from water bottles to food containers and toys. Plastics are organic polymers, composed of long chains of carbon molecules. For example, the plastic containers we use to store food, beverages, and other products are made from polymers like polyethylene and polypropylene. These materials are lightweight, durable, and versatile, making them ideal for a wide variety of applications. Even in technology, organic chemistry plays a fundamental role. The components of the screens of our phones and televisions, such as OLEDs, organic light-emitting diodes, are made of organic compounds. The medicines we take to relieve pain or cure diseases are another crucial example. Aspirin, acetaminophen, and many antibiotics are organic compounds. These medicines work thanks to their molecular structure and how they interact with our bodies. Free radicals are highly reactive molecules produced in our bodies due to exposure to ultraviolet, UV, radiation from the sun. These free radicals can damage the cells of our skin, accelerating the aging process and contributing to the formation of wrinkles and spots. But how does this relate to organic chemistry? Free radicals are chemical species that contain one or more unpaired electrons, making them highly reactive. In terms of organic chemistry, they are important because they can react with various organic molecules in our body, including proteins, lipids, and DNA, causing cellular damage. 
This damage can lead to cell and tissue degeneration, manifesting in visible signs of aging. To protect ourselves, we use products with antioxidants and sunscreens. Antioxidants, present in many creams and foods, neutralize free radicals, helping to prevent cellular damage. As you can see, organic chemistry is everywhere, from the food we eat to the clothes we wear, the fuels that move us, the cleaning products, the technology we use, and the personal hygiene products we use daily. Even the color of carrots, shiny diamonds, perfumes, plastics and containers, and the effects of the sun's free radicals on our skin are products of this fascinating science. It's incredible how something that may seem so complex is, in fact, an essential and everyday part of our lives. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and activate the notification bell.